Why, hello there. Welcome back to Being Bielsa. It's episode 22 of the series, and we're going to be taking on our rivals, Manchester United, in the league away from home at Old Trafford, and also another European trip over to Germany this time to face Augsburg in the Europa League. As you can see, we've got off to a phenomenal start. We're currently third in the table, three points off top spot Man United who haven't lost a game yet. Can we be the first team to beat them? Remember, they're overpowered on Football Manager. It's going to be very, very tough. We've not actually beaten them in 90 minutes. We beat them on penalties, didn't we, in the Carabao Cup when we were still in the Championship. So it's going to be incredibly tough, but we've got off to a very good start to the season, only losing one game, which is against our, which was against our bogey team, Liverpool. We've also lost against them in the Carabao Cup since we last met. So since the last episode, as you can see, 3-2 defeat against Liverpool. Delph and Snodgrass got goals for us, but it wasn't enough to get through to the fourth round. So our defence of the Carabao Cup is already over after the third round. Brentford was up next, away from home in the league. Saiz with another goal. And Wellington Silver with a 91st minute win. A good comeback in this game. Brentford actually playing at Selhurst Park, presumably because they're currently building a new stadium. We then beat Basel. Good away win from us. Bamford with a hat-trick. Another hat-trick in the Europa League. He has 10 goals in four starts and one a one sub appearance in the Europa League. That is very impressive. Only one goal in the league so far. Solanke is our man up front in the league. And this was another really good result. 4-1 win against Fulham at home. Baker with a penalty, an own goal. Piatti and Pedro Neto with another goal. He's got off to a good start for us so far in his uh, Leeds career. He's uh, not our top goal scorer though. Bamford, 11 goals and 8 starts and 2 sub appearances. Solanke's only got 3 so far, but I think they're all in the league. No, two in the league, one in the Europa League. We need a bit of an improvement from him, I think. This is the team, then, that's going to face the mighty Manchester United. A Chorin goal. Ailing's going to play right back. I've decided to go with him rather than Byram. We're playing Berardi and Cooper at centre-back because Jansen is, needs a rest. He could play, but it might be a bit of a risk. And Winston Reid's still out injured. So, Berardi and Cooper against... Manchester United, uh, don't really fancy that. Masuaku at left back, Camacho defensive midfield, Saiz and Delph, our captain in the middle, Piatti and Neto on the wings with Solanke up front. Let's get on with this match then. As you can see here, two draws, one win. The draw did turn into a win though in the League Cup, of course, after penalties. So we can beat them, but maybe not after 90 minutes. They've got loads of quality players. They've, in, they've improved their team. In fact, Dries Mertens, was they signed him and he was transfer listed in the summer. They don't need him. They don't need him anymore. They've got Belotti up front, who's an incredible striker on the game. What a, what a player. Matt is still playing, though. And Lingard and Alexis Sanchez, they're still playing. And they've still got Phil Jones at centre-back. So... You know, I think this team's beatable. Lukaku's on the bench. El Malenko on the bench. So they must have signed him from West Ham. £44.5 million pounds they signed him for. Rashford's on the bench. Lindelof. I'm not going to say I fancy my chances, but we're going to give it our best shot. I'm actually going to go with the home tactic as well because I don't think the away one's really working. Let's go for that. That's motivated them. I want to motivate Solanke as well. There we go. He's happy. We need a happy Solanke. Our top goal scorer from last season, of course. Is it 19 goals in the end? Bamford's already got 11. But, I mean, easy games in the Europa League. Although Basel is a tough team. They've beaten loads of English teams. They, they're always beating English teams, aren't they? So that's an impressive result, I think. And we will play Basel in the next episode. Now, that will be the uh, home or away. I can't remember where we played them previously. But, yes, the return leg anyway. And hopefully we'll have already qualified for... The knockout round by that stage. Great tackle there by Berardi, but Massa charging forwards. Cooper heads it away. Saiz can't get on the end of it. Here's Pogba. Pogba to Alexis Sanchez. Great tackle by Liam Cooper. I don't need to doubt Berardi and Cooper when they're making tackles like that, do I? Here's Saiz into the path of Solanke. Obviously a Liverpool man, so he wants to score against Man United. And here's Mata. They're coming forwards. Bilotti's through. Bilotti... Oh, he's missed. 18 on finishing, and he's put that wide. First clear-cut chance of the match. FM19 is drawing ever closer. If you still haven't bought the game, use my discount code in the description below. It's £27.89 in England. I don't know how that equates to euros or US dollars, but there are rest of the world versions as well, if you click on that, if you're outside the EU. So, yeah, really looking forward to FM19. 
for obvious reasons for me. Region Rovers, of course, mentioned it about 5,000 times. But yeah, really looking forward to just starting that series. Here's Saiz to Piatti. We've got some nice possession here. Piatti going backwards, though. Out wide to Masuaku. Masuaku into the path of Neto. Now Delph into sight. This is lovely play. Oh, I, I said it too soon. De Gea clears. And now Sanchez comes forward. Great ball over the top for Belotti. And tipped over the bar. Maybe I need to pull my defensive line back a bit because they're getting over the back a little bit too easily. I'm just going to throw some encouragement at them. We've not had a shot. That's that's not great. Crossed in. And, oh, good save of Cholo. <laughs> Falls to the floor. And pumps it clear of his left foot. Great ball. What a ball to Piatti. That's what a, an attacking sweeper keeper can do. Here's Saiz. Into Solanke. To Delph. No. Oh, but it's found Neto. Neto around the back. Neto. Oh, he should be scoring. De Gea with an inc incredible save, to be fair. But now Saiz. We've still got an opportunity, maybe. Piatti. Oh, it's cleared away. We've had a clear-cut chance. They've had two and a half chance. We've had one clear-cut chance through Neto. He scored goals for me this season. But, yeah, should have done better there. Solanke's on a 6.1. What is wrong with him at the moment? Maybe we need to bring Bamford on. Piatti into the box. Headed away. Here's Saiz. Saiz. Have the shot. No, Solanke. Solanke, where's he going? It's back to Cooper. Where are we going? We're going backwards. But here's Pedro Neto giving the ball away. And now Belotti. Can he get on the end of that? Cooper does well. But here's Lingard. Nicks it into Belotti, headed back to Lingo, good header away, and now Piatti, can we clear? He's knocked it long, looking for Solanke, he's over the back, Solanke, oh no, chance, half chance apparently, but it was a chance, and oh, we could be winning this, maybe they should be winning it with the chances they've had, but we could also be winning it, and Solanke, what is wrong with him? I'm going to have a go at him at half time, just to see if it inspires him, I'm going to say unlucky. It's motivated Solanke already, so maybe I don't need to be harsh on him. I might have a little chat with the wingers. A lot more to come from him. Calmly, a lot more to come. There we go. Piatti and uh, Neto. Let's start the second half. It's okay. There's not been huge numbers of shots in this game, actually. But there's been a few highlights. Here's Pedro Neto. I'd love to be... Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> a choa. That was brilliant. Absolutely stupendous stuff from the sweeper keeper. Ailing. Back to Camacho. Ailing into Solanke. Oh, good tackle. What is wrong with you, Solanke? You're like a big lump this season. De Gea. He, I think he had a slow start last season, to be fair, and, and grew into the team. But he's been part of this squad now for over a year. He should be used to it. As uh, Alexis Sanchez round the back. This is a chance, surely. Oh, no. Oh, oh, it's just a pathetic own goal as well. Ah, I hate those own goals. Because it looks like it's avoidable. Sanchez round the back. Crossed it in. He didn't manage to find Belotti. And it, his, oh, have they brought Belotti off? Lingard, that was Lingard. Belotti's still on. That's that's unfortunate, isn't it? I'm, I'm going to have to take Slanky off, I think. Maybe I shouldn't have waited this long. I'm trying to give him an opportunity. He's not really had a chance. To, well, he had one chance, didn't he? Half chance. Solanke. Back to Saiz. Camacho. Into Delph. This is nice play. Saiz. They're defending deep. Here's Solanke. Solanke turns. Into Delph. Delph. He scores. Solanke does something. He gets the assist. And Delph with the finish. That will mean a lot to him. Scoring against Man United. Obviously, he's played for Man City as well. But... A Leeds man. Was, it, was he bought? I don't know if he was born in Leeds. He started at Leeds. Here's Solanke with a, a little, a really good pass. And Delph was open and, he, and De Gea couldn't keep it out. We're back in this. Back in this. I, I, I'm i going to keep Solanke on. He's looking motivated. Piatti's looking frustrated. I'm going to throw on Snodgrass for Piatti. Here's Ailing. We've got half an hour. I mean, I'd probably take a draw an hour away from home. Let's be honest. Here's Lukaku. They've brought Lukaku on. The monster. He's going to destroy someone like Berardi, isn't he? The Choa collects that easily. We've had the same number of clear-cut chances and half chances. We've actually had more possession, but we've only had three shots. We're very clinical. We're very good at creating opportunities in this game from the few chances we have as a Choa. I mean, d dangerous play at the back, but it works out well. Here's Snodgrass. Cutting inside. It's back to Camacho. Into the path of Fabian Delph. 
Here's Neto running down the left with the pace. Neto. Solanke. Off the post. I don't think it's his day. It's not his day in front of goal. I know he's looking motivated, but I just don't think it's going to happen for him. I'm going to bring him off for Bamford. Sanchez has picked up a knock. We've got 15 minutes. And we seem to be the team in the ascendancy, although Man United have cleared that now to Lukaku, who now finds Sanchez, who's injured, but still running freely. Uh-oh. This could be a chance for them, I think. Yarmolenko's on now. Uh-oh. Around the back. 2-1. Ah, oh, Man United. We've we've done a we've done really well in this game, haven't we? Neto's dead, isn't he? I'm going to keep him on though. Um, last sub might bring Byram on actually. Bit of bit more uh, energy down that right hand side. We'll get these guys to attack. Neto can attack as well. I might have to go overload. I will go overload for the last few minutes, but not 15 minutes to go. I think that's asking for trouble. Let's just shout some more encouragement. Here they come again. Looking to kill the game off. Lukaku, good save. Oh, it's off the crossbar, actually. Looked like a child made a save. It's time to go overload for the last five minutes. We've got to do it. Uh, mixed passing. I won't go take more risks. Because this actually works more better for me, just having the overload option on. Right. Come on, lads. Two minutes until the night. We've only had four shots in this entire game. But two clear-cut chances. Two half chances. As Cooper knocks it away. Masuaku heads it. Camacho into part of Neto. Into Bamford. Come on, Bamford. A good tackle. <sighs> We've been unlucky, haven't we, in this game? That's cleared. Pushing men forwards there, as you can see. That's headed away. But Sanchez into part of Lingard. Look, they're going to kill it off now, I think. Yarmolenko. And that's over. It's all over. Uh, that's a shame, isn't it? We'll just go back there. We don't want to be embarrassed in the last couple minutes they're just too powerful they are overrated on the game you i think you just have to be honest that they they are they always dominate the last few games they haven't won the league what for six years and they're still at just dominant pep usually gets sacked after a year or two because he doesn't win the league because Mourinho does and i know it i guess it it's it's possible that that could have happened in the last couple years but it just hasn't has it just hasn't maybe it'll be different on fm19 i hope so never mind we're going to go to augsburg and try and get a win in today's episode so i've made a few changes for this game against augsburg we've got Rayo and goal byron berardi and cooper and fabu as the back force i'm keeping berardi and cooper as our two center backs calvin phillips comes into the team with baker size keeps his place piatti moves to the left snodgrass on the right i just hit my elbow and bamford up front hoping to, to get another hat trick he's on fire in the Europa League. This is his tournament. This is what he was born to do. Patrick Bamford, Europa League killer. And that's the uh, Augsburg team. Ah, Finn Bogerson, the Icelandic striker. Decent striker, actually. Kadir. Oh, oh, it's a different Kadira. Rani Kadira. Uh, who else? Anyone else I know? I feel like I've heard of Schmid. I'm not sure why, though. I uh, probably haven't. I don't really know this, very, this team very well, I'll be honest. But they obviously were good enough to qualify for the Europa League from Ger from the German League as well. So it's not bad. Uh, we have won every game so far, of course. Top of the table in our group. Let's keep going. Going with the home tactic again. It was quite effective against Man United, wasn't it? We did well. I, there was positives there against a team that's likely to go on and win the league. And we're still up there towards the top of the table. Only def two defeats in the league this season so far. Here's Saiz. What's he going to do? He's tackled. That's poor from size. What is he doing? That's cleared. And now also trying to counter. They're doing quite well here. Good tackle by Berardi though. Byram steps in. Snodgrass now. Into the path of Saiz. That's a bit better from him. Here's Bamford. All the way back though to Berardi. Here. Oh, this is nice play. We're keeping possession. This is what I want to see. Byram down the right hand side. Whips across in. Oh, it's in the back of the net from Lewis Baker. Getting forward as the Mazala. We're 1-0 up already. Great cross from Byram, to be fair. And that's it. That, that, is, that is positive. I'm going to praise them for that. Here we go again. Fabio into Calvin Phillips, to Lewis Baker, to Saiz. That was an interesting pass. To Byram. Snodgrass. Tackled. And now Max clears. Berardi, is he going to step in? No, he's not. Phillips is after him. Here they come, looking for an equaliser. Schmid over the top. Uh-oh, Fabio misses his header and it's 1-1. One, one. Maybe they didn't deserve the praise after all. 
It looked really positive. I thought Snodgrass was going to cross it in and would, would score a goal, but he lost the ball. He got tackled, and after all, after that, they scored. Get creative. Let's try that shout. There was a time when I never used shouts. Probably about three or four years ago. I, I overuse them now. I use about four a game. Here's Piatti. Back to Saiz. Here's Baker. Oh, lashes it just over. Good effort. We've created chances, one clear cut, three half chances. We've already had 11 shots in this game, 60% possession, but far fewer highlights compared to the Man United game. Bamford having a poor game today, 6.3. What's wrong with the strikers? A draw's okay away from home, to be honest. Uh, that's motivated Bamford. That's mo motivated them. And that's motivated... Ah, brilliant. I've motivated them all. That's what I want to see. I'm going to get Bamford to attack rather than just be on support. Let's see if that makes a difference in the second half. First highlight of the second half. Cooper into Saiz. Thinks about it. And what are you doing there, Baker? You just stood there. And let the, I know it wasn't probably the best pass from Saiz, but still. We're back on the ball, though. Here's Saiz. Quite deep to Baker. They've, they've got everyone behind the ball. That's a great ball to Snodgrass, though. Snodgrass cuts in. Finds Saiz. Three to Baker. Baker! Ah, oh, should be doing better. Second clear-cut chance of the game. We've won a corner. Let's see if we can capitalise on it. Piatti, all the way back. Oh, it's hit! That's well wide from Saiz. I'm encouraging. There's another shout for you. I think that's the third. A shout clacks on. That's what we need. Piatti, back to Phillips. Into Saiz. Come on! Oh, what a goal! What a goal from Sammy Saiz. I wasn't expecting that. He hit it into the top right-hand corner. Curled it beautifully in. That's a, that's a great goal. The encouraged, ta the encouraged shout worked. Let's have a look at this again. Phillips into Saiz. I just wasn't really expecting this, but it's perfect. And he's on an 8.9 today, having a blinder. But here come all but oh, good. And Spyram's just brilliant at winning the ball back. Bamford. Come on, Bamford. Bamford hits the post. Or oh, side netting or something. He probably should have crossed that in, actually. We had men in his support in the end. I might take him off. We're going to bring on Tyler Roberts. It's, it's, it's not Bamford's day. It's not been our striker's day at all, is it? But maybe Tyler Roberts can come on and get a goal. Click's going to come on. Size has been brilliant, but we're going to give him a rest ahead of the next league game. Here we go. Let's try and kill this game off. Calvin Phillips. Back to Byron. Puts a decent cross in. Headed away as far as Fabio. To Click. Click into Baker. Fabio has the shot. Oh, that would have been an incredible goal if that gone in. Hit it with so much power. There we go again. Phillips into Baker. To Click. Click, is he going to have a shot? No, he's played it out wide to Snodgrass. Snodgrass. This is a chance and Piatti can't miss. Great cross from Snodgrass. 3-1. This has been good. Is there anyone I can bring on that needs some game time? Uh, not really. I could bring Ailing on, I suppose. I might bring Solanke on, try and get, get him a goal. So Roberts will go out wide. Solanke will go on up front. We are dominating this game. 60% possession, four clear-cut chances, four half chances. We're 3-1 up. And we're just controlling proceedings. Here's Baker. I want to get Solanke a goal though. Roberts. Back to Phillips. Into the path of Click. Good ball into Snodgrass. He's played it back to Click. He's got Byron on the overlap. Can he put another good cross in it? He does and Solanke. He does score. He gets his goal 4-1. We're just destroying the Europa League. This is a tournament we could actually go on and win. What a way to end the series if we can win the Europa League. eh? Without the Carabao Cup. But, you know, this is not This is a good opportunity. We've almost qualified for the knockout round already, I think, after three games. They're looking to get a second goal. It's crossed deep. It, oh, somehow, I don't know how that didn't go in. We're looking for a fifth now. Click on the ball into Baker. Through to Roberts. Tyler Roberts round the back. Hits the post. Unlucky. In fact, it's a corner, so it must have either taken the deflection or be saved. But we don't get to see the corner. 22 shots in this game to their 10. 61% possession. Ah, Fabio's picked up a knock. Not ideal. He'll be okay, hopefully. Uh, we're still we're still looking. We're still looking to attack. Playing it out from the back. Berardi into Byram. Through to Click. To Snodgrass. To Solanke. Looking to get a second goal. Charging forwards. Plays it out wide to Tyler Roberts. Sneaks it through to Click. Click! Just slides it wide. Seven clear-cut chances. Four half chances. We should have scored more than four. Right at the death, we've got a corner. Are we going to have a shot? It's to click. Click well wide and over. That's it. 4-1. Really impressive performance, though, more than anything. We played really, really well. 
away from home as well. And yeah, we're top of the table. Nine wins. Nine wins? Nine points, sorry. 11 goals scored, two conceded. We've been truly magnificent. So the next episode will be the last Europa League game. I don't know whether to play Spurs or Chelsea. Maybe maybe Chelsea, because they're rivals. So we'll play Basel and we'll play Chelsea in the next episode. We should have qualified by that point. But we'll, uh, we'll round off the Europa League group stage with that game against Basel. And then we'll push on from there, I suppose, and start to play the knockout stages. Assuming everything doesn't collapse now. We, we should we should go through easily. But thank you for watching today's episode. Please leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Until next time, enjoy Football Manager. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you very soon.